Hi guys, welcome back to Blueprint Gaming. I am Jay, and we are continuing here with Transport Fever 2, our Mega City Challenge, where we're going to try to supply every good in the game to one city and also connect that city up to every other city in the game. Uh, that's our end goal objective. I'm hoping to hit that in 30 episodes or less. Fingers crossed that I make it. Anyways, um, so update. Let's do an update here before we get going. First off, yeah, nothing's closed on me yet, so a hey, positive. Uh, second off, uh, we've paid off our entire loan, which means, and just given how much I'm making in one year, you see here in the, the previous year with no loan, um, I'm making almost 1 million, uh, on these routes currently. So I'm going to be able to, um, expand, uh, much faster with less time running off between episodes going forward, because we're now we're starting to make a good positive, um, outcome. Now, with that said, something else, one, we have never placed down our headquarters yet. Um, and I was thinking, where's a good place to play our headquarters? We didn't really need to see this anymore. Maybe. Let me put this, let me put this back behind my head right currently, and we'll come back to it. All right, so headquarters. We have not built a headquarters yet, but I think normally sometimes I like to be like a little fancy and like put it on a mountaintop or something like that. Like, you know, I hit build here real quick. I put it on like a mountaintop, you know, to like oversee my entire transportation line. Um, but I'm thinking in this playthrough, maybe I'll just come down and... Uh, put it down here with uh, with our mega city. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll, we'll do that. We'll put it with our mega city here. There's a nice little corner right there. I mean, that's a good place to put our. Let's see how close we can make this. All right, let's go. Uh, get a little change. It's on a little bit of a hillside, I can tell. Because that's all right. I'll give it a little bit of a grass. There we go. Put it right there. Good enough. It's going to block some houses from being built there, but that's fine. I never really built my headquarters in uh, in a residential or in town before. So this is the first time. So we'll see how it goes, but that's where it's going to be. It'll be a while before that upgrades. Uh, so let's close that down. I did turn back on the one time speed. Uh, I'm playing on a slow right now. I might speed that up. Actually, let's speed that up because we do have a, we do have a construction project we're going to pull off in this episode. Uh, we'll get to it here. Uh, and I closed my route. So here's the, let me close this back up. Okay, before we move on, let's take a look at this. Um, so eventually what I want to do is I would want to get this food, um, expanded a little bit. Cause right now we're definitely not making as much as we could. Um, you can even see right now it could take an, a route, uh, a rate of 89, but yet we can only, uh, transfer food at a rate of 57. Then you can, you see the reflection here. Um, so yeah, not much we can, so not, we can do more, but right now my other options are one, I could definitely add another wagon to each one of these trains, make it six. Cause I think that's where uh, the optimal level is currently. But if I do that, then I would need to bring in more food. We do have extra food stored up right now because we're bringing it in at a slightly higher rate than what we're currently transferring out. And this is a two to one conversion. So don't get don't like, yeah, you could double up and you'll be fine. No, I can't double up and be fine because this is a two to one conversion. Um, so I could fit more wagons here. It looks like there is room. We could fit like maybe four more wagons on, but I think right now what I do is hold off until there's an upgrade available, uh, for these guys. So right now, if we look at managed vehicle, we'll just go to, uh, replace vehicle. Uh, there is no upgraded vehicles yet. Eventually there will be one. So I'm going to wait to that point to expand the food. So food, we're going to completely ignore all that for right now. And we're going to look to, uh, expand our current goods line and try to get us one step closer to getting machinery to torrents. So last episode, we did hook up these logs uh, to the sawmill, which makes planks. And we got a pretty good rate going on here. If we look at our, once again, look at here, um, we're delivering actually, I think it's maybe 400, 400. All right, so right now we're only transferring about 52% of what we can, as this can hold up to 400. So I could put more uh, logs on this route to make the most use of this, but I think for this episode, I might add those trains off camera. Actually, there's already three trains on there. Actually, there's four trains on there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to add more than four trains. I think what I'll do at this point is hold off until we get better engines and um, expand the train lines we're, what we have right now, which is going to be a long, complicated process. And I don't want to explain it now, but I'm probably going to explain it in a future episode. So let's just say for right now, we'll scratch that conversation. Somehow I'm going to expand. We'll get into it later. What I want to do now is save this from ever closing right now, right? Based on what you guys saw in episode one, episode two, right? Well, you didn't see it in episode one, but you saw it in episode two, right? These plants can close on you if 
they're if the goods are not being outshipped, it's still considered not being utilized. So we need to connect this up uh, to a place that takes the good to make sure that this plant doesn't close, to make sure that it ensures this line is always being profitable. Now I could take you all around the map and say, okay, these are the possible options, but I'm going to save you some time. I'm going to tell you guys, we are going to go and we're going to hook up to here to offload planks to make sure we save this from being ever being closed on us. Uh, yes, we still run the option. We still run the chance of this being closed on us, but Hey, that's a risk I'm willing to take. And plus, I don't think it will cut into our profits as deeply as if this closed, we'd have to start all over again. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and start setting this up for the next track. I'm going to put this on, well, I already have it on fast speed. Good. I want to try to take as little bit as a loan as possible. All right, we're going to expand this to add a second platform. Good. And then as soon as this delivers and takes off, we're going to, we're going to fix this up. Go, go, go. Go, go train, go, go train. All right. All right. New, uh, I'm so concerned because they, they could, I mean, I think I, I could pause the game and get this hooked up in time, but if they close that, um, right now, that would be detrimental to the, to the episode because I have everything planned out for this episode to connect to there. Um, so yeah, if it would close, not great. Oh, it's fine. You guys will find your home. All right. I think. I think to there's fine. Tracks. All right, straight straight as an arrow. Uh, let me. Sh why is it doing that? Why? Why? I know I pressed the shift key too much. Uh, no. Um. I don't know why it's doing that. I shouldn't be doing that. That's odd. That's real odd. All right. Build you like that. Just so you're going up slightly, but not too much. Oh, I've never seen the shift key do that before. That's strange. Once again, guys, we are still in a beta build for this update. Uh, the official update doesn't come out, I think, till May 10th. So we're still in a beta build. Uh, so bugs and things like that can happen. Um, just be aware. Um, we are on an experimental beta build, <laughs> not the actual facial official build may not be the official build that comes out in the, with the finalized update. All right. So that is connected. Um, and not bad. All right. Next thing we gonna do is we put in a double switch and then I do want to check, uh, manage vehicle. All right. And then actually what I want is a managed line. All right, and then here I want to give it the option to also go into platform two. Uh, but I think platform one is definitely the better option. All right. Now that that's set up, let's go over down here. Actually, we can speed this up again now that everything's fixed. And we want to set this up to be able to deliver. And the question is, is what's going to be my best option? Probably coming in on this side. And we can get rid of this road. Don't need it. Uh, buildings. We want terminal. Gotta get all my old settings up here. Cause it's a brand new day and a brand new well load. <laughs> I can't say it's a brand new save. Uh, all right. I think that's good. Uh, all right. There we go. And let's go ahead and hook this up. Well, I'll try to hook this up. Um, all right. Sorry, I lost my spot. Where am I? Oh, down here. So, oh, where did it go? I just, it just totally <laughs> slipped my mind or just like went out of my eyesight. All right. So how do I want to do this? First off, are you connected to anything? No, no, you're not. So let's delete this road. All right. I think I want to turn my contour lines on. Um, as I might have tested this off camera. But I may have not done this for you guys on camera. So anyways, uh, maybe I didn't do this off camera. It's been a couple. It's been a couple days. All right. So first off, this factory is sitting at 
and we are sitting down here at 6.8. Okay, so it is pretty much flat. So we want to make sure that we're staying inside this contour, which is, looks like it's this line right here. Sort of. Um, but this is where we want to stay, in this line. All right, so first things first. After you split, we need to make you... Oh, wrong thing option. Uh, tracks. All right. Uh, what needs to go uh, the outside? All right. So let me start. There we go. All right. So let's just go a little bit up. Oh, don't give me issues. Don't give me issues. I start a little bit further up. There we go. All right. We want to carry at a speed of 120 if we can. We can. Uh, we are sort of in the contour, in contour we want. I do need you to go somewhat flat. Um, interesting. Why am? All right, never mind. Well, I mean, I'll figure this out. I might just have to bite the bullet and do a more expensive cost. All right, so. Have you go like that? If can I curve you anymore? Yeah, it's a little bit more. All right, that's the most I'm gonna get away with. That's fine. Build. All right, and then what I want is there we go. And we'll make this not look ugly in the future. All right. All right, let's turn this off real quick because make sure this looks right. All right, so we're going and then veering off. Good, good, good. We'll have to put signals down to make sure we don't have issues here, but we'll get to that later. All right, and then I think because I'm a little afraid this is a little bit more uphill, uh, I'm going to bite the bullet and connect this one up directly and see what it looks like. All right, what's the damage? What's the damage? Well, first of all, what's the cost? Two million. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Mm, we're still on early trains, but oh, a tunnel? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. All right. Now, normally I'd say bite the bullet, go for it, but that is a lot more. And the thing that's sad is this is pretty much a flat. This is flat as flat can be, right? There's like a, a meter or whatever difference. Like it's very, very small difference. But unfortunately, I feel like I'm going to have to go uphill. And I'm going to be going uphill full. Why is it always uphill full? Hmm. All right. So obviously, because I didn't trip, lay down a test track before I started recording, because why would I? Um, I ran into issues, which is which is which is normal. You guys will run through this too if you uh, yeah. Yeah, play this game and you try to build certain things. Let's bring up our contours. Um, I'm going to be trying something here. We're going to have to go uphill, but the problem is I want to go uphill very, very, very slowly. All right, we're going to cut through these trees, unfortunately. All right, what I want to do is get you flat, but then raise you to go match. Uh, not the good feels that I want. All right. Uh, we can go straight here for a little bit. And actually, we're almost getting... Let me go down one. And again, I'm holding the shift key. I want to go up and down to make sure it goes... It just slightly moves. Uh, is that right? There we go. Um, okay, what, I don't know what just happened there, but something funky really happened. Uh, I'm staying with the contours. I'm trying to see when I come up to my level I want it to be at. All right, where am I going from here? Oh, keep it going kind of straight, but somewhat curved a little bit. All right, so if this is... Still should be going up slightly, but let's go, go up one more. I mean, it's just basically going to be going uphill. 
uh, which is going to suck for this route for a very, well, for a while. Until we get the general engine, it's going to suck for it. All right, looks like we are <laughs> unfortunately out. Let me go drop it down. I'll drop it down one. All right, now I'm curious if I look at, if we look at, and now see we're over 14 meters, man. Now we got to drop again. All right, now let me reset this to flat. All right, and this can go, see, down by three. Yeah, I don't like this going up and down, but I think I'm kind of stuck. Now we're at 12, so we're down two meters. All right, let's drop this some more. All right, let me see if I go from there to here, what's my damage? Uh, we're going to have to undo this. Uh, and we kind of figured that we're cutting into a hillside, but that's fine. I can make that look better later when we have a ton of cash. Reminds me I'm not pressing fast forward since that cut I'd had to do. Um, uh, it's going to be fine. There was no, I mean, that was going to be a cut no matter if I did it or the game did it. So let's accept that punishment that we definitely got the cost down. Hopefully uh, the ups and downs won't be that bad. Uh, 80's fine. I'm trying to go underground. Thank you. All right. And connected. All right. So how does that look? I mean, it's going, uh, it's really wonky coming off there, um, but I know it's at full speed and then not bad. Not bad. It looks natural. I, so this a little wonky thing. It looks natural from there. All right. And we are good. Now we got to hook up some trains and what do I want to do? What's this? Depot's going that way, unfortunately. And, oh, let me get the signals up because I think I'm, the signals are going to be very important here. Signal. Oh, it was the auto save. I was like, oh my, what did just happen? All right, I got to put a stop. I got to put a signal there and a single there. Because um, that's going to tell us to go or not. And I see I don't have my one way on. All right, and I think that's going to be fine from there and coming out. Uh, we needed to clear the station, so that is fine. I, think, I believe that's fine. Hopefully that really is fine. Mistakes can happen very easily. And if you get confused, uh, there's very few mistakes in this game that are not unerasable. That you just want to prevent the big costly mistakes. Um, but I don't think I'm making one of those. All right. This line is pretty long. There, there. Put two in the middle. They said we're trying to keep our costs low by uh, not adding a ton of signals, uh, but enough that we can add more than one train to the line. And this kind of setup here is like good enough for four to five trains. Um, that's kind of way I always see it. Let me switch these guys the one way. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's set up the new route. And we definitely cut down the cost because I'm not bankrupt. New line. Let's go from here. Another new industry. Just don't want to see one of mine close. Why am I not seeing the line? What is what the world is this? Line one. I'm not sure why there was an extra line added. That's different. I'll say that much. All right. So we're delivering planks. Uh, to whatever the name of this factory is. Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. Anyways, um, this right here, we can change this. You can go in line one or line two, whatever's empty. Uh, let's change your color. Let's try not to confuse you with, um, I'll make you that color. Um, yeah, you're a little darker than the logs are out. Okay. I can live with that. And let's name you train planks. To call you machine shop. I don't know what the actual real name is. Uh, what are you? Machines factory. And um, we'll stick with machine shop. All right. And now we just need to get trains on this line. Let's go back to the drawing board here. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's really no flat ground. Um, so what I'm going to do, <laughs> I normally don't do this, but since there's like really no flat ground, uh, I feel like this is my best option. Adding in a train track like this. buildings and adding one like that uh that's probably not going to stay permanently but that's what's going to have to do me for now and what i could do is i could connect this up to the other platform too so that way i, I could delete this and actually uh, you know what let's do that let's just do that let's keep our costs low All right, cool. And then we'll delete this up here. And that can serve us both of them. Now, eventually we might go this way and we'll have to uh, delete this, but right now that's fine. All right, we got a line made. We had the depot set up. Let's get the train. Oh, we do have the general avail to us. Okay, I think at this point I'm gonna go general. Um, Eventually, we're going to have to expand our platforms, but for right now, not in the cards. Not in the cards at all. All right, so we need to take planks. I think planks are on flat cards. They are. All right, so we still have to be mindful of our meters uh, as our platform is only 80 meters long. So uh, that's the most I'm going to be able to get, which is six cars, which is not great. But as you can see, I'm going to move a lot faster than what my current trains do. So let's go ahead and buy this and set this on planks to machine shop. All right, and we'll let this go uh, fast speed. Oh, I had enough cash for all that. I didn't even think about that option. And we're going to see what the rate is here. And it's going to take a while for it to be established. It might tell me right away, but I know it's going to be estimated. Uh, all right, 44. So right now, 44. So we can do some backwards math here. Uh, if we're transferring 218 logs and it's a two to one ratio, which means we're generating 109 um planks which means we could definitely increase this frequency uh which i have the cash to do which we'll probably do right away what i'll do let me hit manage vehicle uh, and what i'm going to do is wait till this one reaches the end of the line and it instantly uh, make another train i hopefully have enough cash when it gets there i may have to pause the game and take a loan if i don't Go, 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 gadget. I might just cut this part out. <laughs> and say tug at the end of the line. All right. All right. Doesn't look like I'm going to get enough cash before the line, so I'm going to borrow 500,000. Uh, I should just borrow a million. Quickly. All right. Set the line. Let's make it a clone. There we go. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Um. Um, all right, something funky happened here, all right? Let's reverse you again. No path. All right, pause, pause, pause. Something's wrong here. All right, let's take a look at, uh, vehicle's fine. All right, so somewhere this has to be broken. It's not showing it's broken. That's the weird thing. We should be going out this way. Out, 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 out. We're still going the right direction. Yeah, this is a problem solving time, guys. So why are we getting the alert that there's no path? I mean, I built the train under 80 meters, so I'm not sure, but it's probably, it's definitely something with the train. So, um, 
All right, so what I'm going to have to do is um, I think my quick fix is just to extend this this platform. So let's go platform tracks. All right, let me see if that fixes my problem. Yeah, unfortunately, even though it was an 80, uh, 80 meter platform, for some reason, a 76 meter uh, train wasn't able to turn around. Now, there's ways to get around that. Um, is well, As soon as the train moves out of the way, I can probably show you a better example of how to get around that. So I instantly started this break off like right after this platform ended. So one of the ways to get around that without extending the platform, because now I'm paying more maintenance on this, is give myself a little bit more space and like come up here and then create the break off path. That gives the train a little bit more space and that would have been a more cheaper fix at this in this scenario but um eventually i'm going to need a longer platform as i now have the general which means I could, I could go bigger if i really wanted to and maybe at some point i do let's speed this up guys so what we're going to do here if we take a look at our new rate uh we're transferring 87 still not at the same rate as we we're getting the the planks made which is still at a 107 but if i did another full train i would be over which means I would have a train running empty and right now it's very important in early game to make sure your trains are always running full very very important uh, but that's where i'm gonna leave this episode i'm gonna uh, micromanage these lines before i come back i'm probably gonna make sure i put i may put more trains on i might not i'm gonna pick out the next route and then i'll be back with an episode number five because if you're joining this transport series uh transport favor two series yes please um hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe Hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.